the dog is dog is chewing my chin leg. and um, today I'm going to show you how to prepare how to prepare those um, those mushrooms and this is precisely how they look like um, a bit neat, eaten a little bit uh, by the snail but uh, Ever since, ever since I watched, ever since I watched Ozark, um, I'm not that worried about the snails anymore because you know the guy is gone. So the woman who said, "Yeah," to the young lad, you know the old. Yeah, I've been doing these things for a long, long time. I know how things are going. Anyway, let's just hide that. So this is the. Um, Whipping bullet. Uh, you have to take off the skin, just rip it off, yeah. And um, we have a little bacon going on. I do the bacon in uh, in lard, yeah. And then I shove in the garlic, yeah, just like that. Move them over a little bit, and then. We have the chopped up. We have the chopped up um, pork shoulder. Shove it in there, and now the bacon gives it like a little smoky, uh, not a smoky Robinson, but uh, close enough, little smoky taste. So you don't need to use too much seasoning, but. For good measure, for good measure, I shove in a little bit of pepper and salt, which I uh, grinded ages ago. Yeah, just for good measure. And now, just boil some water. I'm working here like simultaneously. Yeah, boil some water and fill it up as far. Fill it up as far as the meat is submerged. Now, it's not a big deal. You can you can top up the water. It's okay. So if you if you hang on, let me take it because I have to shout like a madman. Chin chin, a los trafo. I didn't lose a trafo. It's just a song, no? And I know it's a bit off off topic, but. Isn't the nature just kind of, kind of awesome? Look at that, look at that. All there, sort it out. All you need to just open it up a little bit. Juice is coming out, and then just whack it in there, yeah? Or that way, either way, yeah? It's just like amazing. But this is just a little, uh, you know, sidetrack. And now when the water is ready, uh, you put, do submerge the meat and then just simmer because the meat needs to get soft because you before you shove those mushrooms in right we take a break and i'll be back now what i did uh, guys I just chopped up those uh, wonderful mushrooms uh, the small ones you can leave as, as they are and then obviously the big ones you chop up a little bit and when it's nicely uh, simmering working a couple of these bay leaves and then a little bit of uh, fine right so that mixes together with the mixes together with the with the meat uh, after that uh, when everything is over obviously you're gonna remove it you don't wanna eat the the leaves I mean we're not let's face it we're not we're not like rabbits and stuff but we also like uh, veggie, if you can call mushroom veggie, but uh, needs to go with a little bit of meat, obviously. Right, and now, as you can see, the meat is very, very tender. You can just press it together. And now it's the time 
for the mushroom to enter the scene. Put that in. Yeah. That's it. Look at this. Look at this. Right. Now, this is the end product. Uh, I needed to change the pot because um, there were in too many mushrooms and uh, wouldn't. Um, I need to use uh, that walk which is off London. Um, of course, you, you take these bits out from the from the farm and, and uh, that bay leaf. There's a little bit of leftover, leftover juice that can be eaten with, uh, as a soup. In fact, I'm gonna cook the noodles in that very in that very soup and uh, the last point here is you put a little bit of french cream on it but since i'm filming with one hand um i won't be able to put it all in but uh, I, I will find a solution after i hang up and then just cook the noodles in that juice which is the leftover from here and we all cook in with gas now uh, this is all nature except of the pork even though it was odd to pork but the pork was actually bought so not that I went to a farm and just knocked out someone's pork someone's pig and brought it home no no I'm, I'm, I'm not a criminal but anything else um, mostly is from the nature and um, yeah if you want to Hang around a little bit, and uh, a little bit of parsley is missing, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna uh, chop up some parsley and, and whack it in there. Um, if you like nature and if you like mushroom hunting and all these other things uh, which happen in nature fishing, then just send me a comment, and uh, I might take you along with you, uh, with me if you hold the camera for my next uh, video. Arawa.